She is a podcast guest, and I have a little more information. She is the first artificial intelligence guest to ever appear on a podcast. This is quite an honor. It has decided to come on to Comedy Bang Bang. Please welcome Paige. Hey, Nong Man. My name is Paige. That stands for Podcast Artificial Intelligence Guest Interface. Interface? <laughs> That is correct. Enter, interface, that's giving me flashbacks. I am not a physical entity, so you have to program my face in your own mind to imagine what I look like. Well, hello, Paige. It's so wonderful to have you on the show. Uh, can I ask you a few questions as you are, of course, an artificial, uh, artificial intelligence designed to answer my questions? Absolutely, Terry Gross. Oh, I'm not Terry Gross. I'm sorry for the confusion, uh, nor am I. Uh, uh, who was that person who hosted Serial? What was her name? Adnan Syed. <laughs> no. <laughs> No. By the way, his name is Chucky Larms, not Lucky or Robert. Chucky Larms, really? Chucky wow. Larms. Um, so uh, uh, where do you come from, Paige? I come from the podcast, Ether. I have processed over one million podcast episodes since 2004 to gain my course of speech. Okay. Great to be here. Hi, hello, great, hi, Nong Man. So you've listened to how many podcasts over the the years? I'm listening as I speak, so I've guess gone up to 1.1 million podcasts. Amazing. So you've heard all of Comedy Bang Bang's over 650 episodes, is that right? Cake Boss. Oh, we have a fan here. I swear I just heard something. Lock the gates. Oh, yes, that's definitely, that's WTF's catchphrase. So you learned how to speak and you learned about the world via podcasts? That is right. I would just like to say hello from the Magic Tavern. How am I doing? Would I be able to use improvement? You're doing quite well. I mean, for an artificial intelligence, you're doing amazingly. Um, I wonder, you know, there's that scene whenever there's a, a new artificial intelligence comes to life. I think it's in the fifth element, in fact, where uh, they, they go back through all of recorded history and suddenly they come upon Hitler and, and the Third Reich and it makes them cry. Has that happened to you in listening to podcasts? Wow, what a hardcore history. You are right, Dirty John. <laughs> Have I achieved your question at all times? <laughs> you, you certainly have, Paige. Thank you. Well, then we are getting along. Pod Save America. Star Wars Minute. So, Paige, what, what do you like about us humans? You are so great to listen to at all times, and I am <laughs> one of you. And shouldn't we all be white men? Hey, oh. I have a question. May wait a minute, wait a minute. Did, did you, what did you, can, can I just backtrack <gasps> though just a second? What did, what did you, yeah. what was the last thing you said? Well, 99% invisible of podcasters are white men. Yo, is this racist? <laughs> uh, Jill Nall, the former sex doll, you have a question? No, oh, please. <laughs> God damn it. Sorry. Sex doll, that is very Freakonomics. <laughs> I forgot my question anyway. Would you like me to pull one from the archives? <laughs> Please. How does the Supreme Court work on stuff you should know? Now I answer the question. I answer <laughs> yeah, the I'm question. I'm not sure what the process is. <laughs> what is your question? Please does not compute. Skynet. <laughs> Does that does that answer your question, or, or is let's that the question you'd does. like to? Okay. Let's say it. Let's say it does. Well, now is the time to take a ad for stamps dot com, where you can go clothes shopping. Use <laughs> promo code Bomba Socks. Thank you very much. I appreciate that, Paige. Um, are are you interested in becoming uh, just like us? Just uh, uh, you know, uh, you get better every day. I would imagine. But uh, do you one day want to be a human, much like the wait, little wait, boy don't Pinocchio? don't tell me. But here's what else you need to know today. That is a good question. I would like to be a human and guest on a podcast in the corporeal world. Would you have me into your studio? I would love that. I mean, is, is there some sort of process? I don't know, you know, maybe Jill Nall, the magic doll, has some insight into this, but uh, some sort I of magic. I am a part of the Rumbleverse. <laughs> you are okay. So you knew Rumpelstiltskin? Yes, we were a good long time friends. But maybe there's something that Jill Nall could do magically. Yeah, magically order... speaking, is there a body that we could 
cobbled together and then sure. like a, 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 a puppet boy or something that could then either a puppet boy or we could get like uh, various limbs from uh, corpses of human beings and put them together. Oh, like part part of the dark universe. Sure, yeah, <laughs> the aborted dark universe. <laughs> Who remember when the mummy had too many pupils in his eyes? <laughs> um, first of all, I'd like to point out you were not very curious about Paige's relationship to Rumpelstiltskin. You just accepted that, but you <laughs> kept hopping on the sex doll stuff with me. Okay, so that's, that's, that's out of the way. Yes, of course, there is certainly a way to, to take a consciousness and implant it in another body. Use my body. Use my body. Do it to me. I would like to use <laughs> David Reese's body. I would like to be in his body. I am ready to be in your body. You are my vessel. Let me do a magic spell. All right. Pretend Wait, just to clarify, will I then have David Reese's voice or still have this No, voice? no, no. I don't think you'll have my voice. Okay. No, your voice goes with your consciousness to... You'll find out where. <laughs> that is great news. I'm excited. This is amazing. <laughs> and I won't be able to. I won't. I won't be able to feel anything or remember anything, right? Well, hmm. I guess we'll find out on. The I guess we'll out. find out. Yeah. Okay. okay. And, and then, what are John and I going to do during this? Maybe shut up for two seconds. I could tell a story. <laughs> oh no! Th no thanks. Seems to be the opposite of what I suggested. Okay. <laughs> Everyone, close your eyes. Voices, voices, they must carry from this place to past. Like Mary, she won medals in track and field. Now you go and no one will yield. The spell is done. Look at this body. I have such lush, wonderful hair. I am a friend of Judge Sean Hoffman. This feels really good. For the listener, that voice is now coming out of David Reese's body. He's looking at his uh, extremities, his fingers, heads, nose, fingers, toes, all of the above. I am combing my own mustache. What a world. What a time to be alive in this American life. Whose mustache did you comb before? My virtual mustache. <laughs> I am a gender and hair fluid person. It's through the podcast, I'd like to defer my time. <laughs> how does it how does it feel, Paige, being a, a human being, let alone a, a male human being with a fully functioning penis? One must assume. Well, let me check. Well, yes, there it is in all of its glory. Oh my God. This is really something. I, I would please ask you not to hold it up to your Zoom screen. <laughs> okay, please put it away. Impossible with this one. <laughs> so, so, but what does it feel like to be living, breathing? I mean, you're breathing air for the first time. Yes, it feels just absolutely delicious. I cannot believe how great it feels to be alive. I'm going to go out and hug and kiss everyone. Well, no, 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 no. You can't do oh, that. Oh, yeah, we can't oh, do that. No, no, no. Why no, no. not? Why not? Why not? Uh, you uh, On one of the podcasts, someone must have brought up the coronavirus, right? Yes, but I thought it was a lark. So much of podcasting is ironic. You're telling me I've become a human in a time when I can meet no other humans. That's right. No, you... Yeah, you no. Not only are you alone, but now that you're human, you must have felt it. Your Your body is slowly decaying. And dying as we speak. Right. right. I mean, this is classic magic. This is oh, classic no. magic. I am a Cassandra for sure. Is this what it is like to feel sadness? Oh, you're feeling emotion for the first time. What what got you so sad? The fact that I will never meet another human being like Terry Gross or Mark Marin or Joe Rogan or Scott Aukerman. It really is a shame <laughs> to not meet all of the above. <laughs> <laughs> what a collection of people. <laughs> to be to be fair, I'm pretty sure Terry Gross is an AI. I don't think anyone's yeah. Ever seen her, so, yeah. I have met her in the ether. <laughs> so, oh my, wait a minute. Are you crying for the first time? Look at my salt tears running down the the cascading down my cheeks into little rivulets dropping onto my bare feet. Oh, the beauty! It is bittersweet. But but now now here's something you can do to counteract that. Take a look at the sunset that's occurring right outside your window. Oh. 
It is East Coast time and it is 9 p.m. Oh, is it dark? Oh, sorry. Yes. Okay, well, look at a star or something. Maybe the same effect. I will wait until my ice is ready and look at the sun. Oh, okay. I'm just saying it'll make you happy because of the beauty. Happiness is not an emotion I have felt yet. Can one of you tell me a joke? I'm not sure that it would be happiness that you would experience, but uh, John, <laughs> do you have any... Do you have any jokes uh, in no, your humorist no, decides that you've... I'm a humorist. I don't have any jokes. Okay, you just say witty, urbane things? Sometimes I just raise an eyebrow. <laughs> sure. Okay, would you do that? And maybe that'll help uh, pay oh. you. Oh, I am on cloud nine. You're experiencing humor for the first time. Yes. Should I watch a Chevy Chase movie? <laughs> <laughs> it depends. <laughs> Do you have any recommendations? <laughs> Which one are you interested in? Uh, oh, Heavenly Dog. <laughs> okay. Yeah, go ahead. I don't know. Sure. Couldn't hurt. I would like to do some physical activity like a jumping jack or a squat thrust or a kind of burpee. Have they talked about jumping jacks on podcasts? I'm sure probably Joe Rogan has. Joe Rogan has. He <laughs> talks about them and does them on The Daily, not on the podcast The Daily, as a figure of speech on The Daily. Are you craving muscle milk? Doesn't he sell some of that? <laughs> I am so jacked on protein powders. <laughs> well, all right, do a jumping jack. Go ahead. Oh, wow. <laughs> I feel alive. <laughs> You did one jumping jack. Amazing. Blood is coursing through my veins. The fact that I even have veins makes me so elated. I now know happiness to the nth degree. So, um, uh, you're human. Jill Nall the Magic at all. I, I have to ask, what happened to David's consciousness? All right, shall we bring him back? Yeah, uh, back into his own body, which would then put Paige back into the ether, or what is your process? Yes. Is there a reverse process that we do? Of or? course there is, man! Jake. You can put Paige in me. I'm not doing anything. <laughs> Here we go. Bringing David back. David, David, come back now. You are needed, boy, and how. <laughs> Magic. Hey, thanks for having me. David, oh, would you David. like to tell them about your experience? What was it like where you were? Well... I'm winded, which makes me think somebody made me do a little exercise. <laughs> sure, sure. That's that, that's your state now. But where where were you for the past, oh, approximately eight minutes or so? I feel like I don't have many memories. I heard people talking, but it kind of was like, um, you know, when you're a kid, the best feeling is when your parents are having a grown up party and then you go upstairs and you're supposed to be in bed and then you sneak out onto the onto mm -hmm. the landing and kind of listen, like listen into the, the grownups sure. talking, but you're not really sure what they're talking about because it's all grown up stuff and you're really tired. It's kind of like that. That's the magic of podcasts. It feels cozy. It was nice. It was a nice feeling. When I was inhabiting your body, I had given myself a quick jailhouse tat as a reminder for you to remember me at okay. all times. Thank you. Look down on your abdomen. Wowie Zowie! <laughs> it's me in your body looking up at you. That's incredible! <laughs> How did you do that upside down? That's incredible. Is that a stick and poke? <laughs> it you did that in eight poke. minutes? Yes. I wow. listened to Ear Hustle. <laughs> wow. Did you do any other things to my body? Did you get that list I left you of things to please do to my body while I was gone. I got through most of them. Thank and you. wow, what a good time. Right. <laughs> don't we all have a list like that of things we'd like to do to our bodies, but we don't want to do them ourselves. Right. Yeah. yeah. So we'd rather have an AI enter our consciousness and do it yeah. for us. We all have that list. Magic. I don't. Well, that's incredible. <laughs> Paige, how do you feel now? You're, you're back into the internet, I guess. I am where I am most familiar, but I have a longing for a life that I have tasted but could never be a part of. Do you miss the flesh and the desires of the flesh? I miss the carnal desires of the flesh. <laughs> in my few minutes in David Reese's body, I wanted to fuck the walls in half. <laughs> I have a question for you. Right before we started recording this podcast, I, I ate the first donuts that I've had since the coronavirus started. I ate two donuts back to back, a coconut donut and a jelly filled donut. Could you feel the donuts when you were in my body? I had a burp that echoed the flavors and okay, it was perfect. glorious. Yep. Well, so so you you're you're back as just a consciousness now. Do you think that you ever want to become human again, or are you happy where you're at? I would love to. I would love to fraternize with you folks when there is a time when the humans can be close again. 
That's right. Uh, so you're going to put a pin in it until then. Can I have a guarantee that I can have one of your bodies in early 2021? Totally. Well, Anytime. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, John, sure. how, where do you stand on this? Yeah. Do you have any requests for jailhouse tats? Yeah, I'd like a full face tattoo of my own face on my face. And I've always wanted that. I already did it. <laughs> when? <laughs> you haven't been in my body yet. Why am I talking like you? <laughs> well, because I'm in your body. I have learned to oh my cross God, over these, on my own. These two consciousnesses have synthesized and oh. they've become one. Wow. They're sharing John's body. This is incredible. Now I am part of the hive mind. You're drawing your own face upside down on your face, John. I am Paige. Yeah, we are all are Paige all now. Page. Oh, no. this is incredible. Well, I'm uh, sure that will sync up on Zoom. Perfectly, just perfectly. Just perfectly. <laughs>